Hello, it's Uwe from Rodetes with a railroad manager. Let's play the, we are playing the Indian Pacific mission in the new Australia map, which is new to Railroad Manager 3. So, you have con to connect Sydney in the east and Perth in the west. And the main problem to do with this is the Nullarbor Desert in the center. So, so before we start, make sure you have a couple of uh, rolling stock needed. For cargo trains, the London uh, Railway BT World Tank is the best one. It's slightly better than the American local British cheaper. Also make sure you have uh, lots of cargo wagons because uh, this is crucial. Uh, we are going to make all the money needed to build the Indian Railroad uh, across the Australian continent down under. Um, it will cost you around 8000 to connect Adelaide and Perth, but for now let's start with laying tracks from Sydney to Melbourne. Um, you you need to uh, bring up a passenger train line from Sydney to Melbourne. It will make you some cash, but not that much. Um, you will get most from the cargo trains. So. Uh, whenever you see some cargo which is worth transporting, then do it, but um, try to not uh, start too many trains uh, at once. Mm. They would make some, make up some blocks on uh, in some villages because we have long tracks, long tracks of course with only one track. So and here's what makes you the makes you win. It's the cash it's the you get from transporting gold from Melbourne to World where, where, where. There's a gold rush going in the 1880s in Australia. So um, have a close look uh, always in Melbourne. Um, the other thing is uh, Adelaide is quite far away from the other villages so uh, transporting uh, goods from there, oil especially, will, uh, will make you lots of cash. So that said, um, also sometimes you can manage to transport sheep to Melbourne and uh, Melbourne can produce uh, clothes uh, from uh, the sheep, but yeah, uh, most of the time you see just bring some gold to, uh, to, to the next village. In that case, it's nearly $800 uh, to uh, just for one uh, wagon with two. Um, units of gold. So um, when you you can you can start building into the western direction, and um, don't bother uh, to connect uh, for Lincoln. Um, you can, but yeah, well, it costs some extra money to lay tracks there to build a station, which always costs one thousand. The mm, same, by the way, is true for the for the city of Newcastle in the east, which is very close to Sydney. So you can connect it. Sometimes it uh, produces uh, enough cargo and passengers, um, so it's worth it. But not always. It's uh, it's all about Melbourne. Uh, now we are just waiting for Melbourne to spawn some new gold to uh, transport somewhere. Meanwhile, we can continue building into the west. Note that the uh, building in the desert is quite ex quite expensive. 
240, uh, not 200. Uh, it's even uh, more expensive to build in the, on the southern coast. Uh, the coastal desert is uh, more expensive than the normal desert. There's more gold, so take it to Sinea. And there are also some clothes uh, produced. Uh, and uh, take them wherever they are needed. Yeah, one thousand three hundred eighty-six dollars will bring us a lot closer to Perth. Meanwhile, if you find something worth transporting in the other villages, of course, uh, create another train as long as you have uh, enough uh, locomotives and wagons. Now, back to Adelaide, there's nothing worth transporting now, but uh, some passengers. So, uh, why not send a special train to Melbourne? Um, travelers uh, for other destinations are going to change there automatically. So, uh, Remember that uh, special trains uh, only go from A to B, they don't stop in between. Um, let's, yeah, uh, let's just send another train to LA. It, it, it will uh, bring you some cash, but uh, again, uh, let's build some more tracks in the desert. See again, 1,000, uh, 2,000, um, and uh, uh, something new cargo spawned here. Uh, well, Sydney, it's not worth it. Have a look uh, into the village list and check where, um, where cargo spawned which is worth transport in this case from Adelaide to the eastern direction. Mm. But uh, yeah, this train needs to wait. This train needs to wait until the other one reaches the city of Adelaide. Now, those uh, grey uh, fields here are quite uh, cheap to build on, uh, so um, yeah, building on a cheaper uh, landscape fields uh, is important. Um, it can save you a thousand dollars or more if you take care on a long line like this one. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, ten more fields to go to Perth, so roughly $2,000 uh, more plus the station needed in Perth. Remember, you don't need to bother transporting anything from or to Perth, because the game ends at the very moment you connect it, so you build the station in Perth. Remember not to build the station in Perth beforehand, you could do that, but uh, in uh, other villages will, will spawn cargo for Perth, but you won't uh, transport it anyway, so you don't need that. And it fills up uh, slots for cargo production, so you're, you're, uh, you're better uh, done with uh, not building the station in Perth too early. Okay, this won't be sufficient. Yeah, we need some 400, 1,500 dollars more. So, ah, there's gold spawned in Melbourne for Canberra. Great, this is 100, 400, 1,400. Uh, so, let's take this gold to Canberra and this will be enough for our last parts of the line to go to Perth all down the Indian Pacific Railroad 
actually it uh, took much more longer to build it in reality and the Railroad Manager 3 mission uh, you can do the same in roughly 10 minutes so it's quite a fast mission now here it is the final score 1021 well how much uh, can you score post it in the comments remember to subscribe for other uh, let's play videos and have fun good night from australia